Christopher Nolan is not only a great director, he's done a lot of good to great movies, but he's a director who really stands out today. The specific reason for that is because he's able to go up to a major studio and say, hey, can you give me a bunch of money to make an original film? Can you give me $200 million to make an original film? Can you, can you give me a bunch of money and give me creative freedom to make the movie I want to make? studio will go, yeah, Christopher Nolan, here's the money, here's the oversight, make whatever movie you want. And that's something that very few directors are able to do today. Almost no directors can go up to a studio and consistently get them to say, hey, director, we're going to give you money and creative freedom to make the movie you want to make. Christopher Nolan has consistently, over the last 10 years, been able to do that. He put out Inception, Interstellar, and Tenet over the last 10 years. Free original sci-fi or fantasy films. We don't get very many original films in that genre anymore. And then he did Oppenheimer this past year. Slow, R-rated, three-hour movie about science and Senate hearings. It ended up, of course, doing very well. But Christopher Nolan really stands out. And his films have been very well received for the most part. He, of course, did the Dark Knight trilogy, one of the best, one of the most well-regarded comic book trilogies out there. And then he did those original sci-fi or fantasy films I mentioned. Yeah, Tenet was a bit more divisive, I would say, than Inception and Interstellar, but that doesn't mean it was received badly. Its Rotten Tomatoes score is still actually pretty high. I think it's at like 86%. So it was still overall received well, even if even if it wasn't received quite as well as other original Nolan sci-fi or fantasy films. Then he also, before the Dark Knight trilogy, did Memento, Pre Prestige as well. Uh, did he do others? I'm trying to think, I'm not sure, but. He is, I would say, one of the best directors working today. When I think about the directors that are still putting out movies, he's one of my favorites, easily. I agree that Martin Scorsese is a top-tier director, but he's not my personal favorite director, because he tends to do a lot of drama and crime films. Those are not my two favorite genres, so he's not quite on my wavelength as much. I don't resonate with him quite as much. Christopher Nolan makes more movies that are in genres which I enjoy more. And he has consistently found success. Especially, of course, 2023 with how well Oppenheimer performed.